Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jasmine and I make lifestyle and beauty videos. If you're returning, welcome as well. Thank you so much for your love and support. I truly do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my vanity um, setup and also my makeup collection. I believe I did one um, about three months ago, so it's going to be like an updated version of it. I know I added a bunch of new makeup into my collection just because I'm trying out what they have right now, what's new. And then I've decorated and changed my vanity from how it looks like before. I kind of added a few little things to it. So I thought it would be good to kind of show you guys how it's all looking right now. So before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below to be part of my journey here on YouTube. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Before we get started, I wanted to show you guys what I'm wearing since we currently can go outside. So I thought I would show you guys what I'm wearing. So it's just a long um, yellow with black stripes of a dress that I got from TJ Maxx. And then I just paired it with my yellow sandals. I still like to get ready because if I'm in P like PJs or just like sweats all day, my mood's like all the way down. I just want to be in bed, not doing anything, eating a bunch of junk food. So I like to get ready to kind of get my day going. Okay, so this is how my vanity looks like. I originally had it on this um, side of the wall, but I want to go ahead and change it on this side just because um, I wanted something different in our room. So to start off with, this desk is from Ikea. I'm not sure the name of it. I think it's like Mink or something like that. But I'll go ahead and link it down below so you guys can go ahead and check it out. But it does have two drawers um, on each side. And then we're going to go ahead and start with the chair first. So this is a chair that I have here. It's just a white, furry, um, simple chair, small. I didn't want a long one. I kind of wanted something small that I can just kind of push into the desk. That's why I got this one. And then this one, I got it from TJ Maxx, if I'm not mistaken, or Marshalls. And basically what I like about it is that it opens up. So you have just extra storage in there. And then kind of what I put in here is just makeup bag, curling iron, more beauty sponges down here. Anything that I might need while I'm getting ready, I have it all in here. And it's just extra storage that I really like. That's why I bought this one. And I believe this one was like $30 or $40. I'm not too sure. But I'll go ahead and link it down below if I can find like a similar one to it. And then this is how the desk looks like so originally the desk comes in all white just like this i went ahead and put like this marble um on top of it and i got this one from amazon i think it was like five or six dollars and you basically just um you take off like the sticker that i has in the back and then you just kind of set it down so i thought it would i thought it looked really cute it added like some more detail to the desk instead of just being like plain white and i'll go ahead and also link that one down below so you guys can check it out if you're interested in it so with my mirror um what i did was i bought this mirror from lowell's um i forgot how much it cost but i'll go ahead and link it down be down below as always but i went i got it from lowell's because that's where my husband works at so he got it for like a discount price and what i did was i bought these bulbs from amazon and then all i did was just kind of stick it on there and I went into that all the way around the mirror. And um, it kind of worked for me. It's like a vanity mirror, but like a more cheaper version of it. And it does have a little click here to turn it on. It's like a touch. It is pretty bright for the cheap light bulbs that it has. Um, it works well when I'm getting ready. Um, I don't really have an issue with the lighting here. So I highly, highly recommend these. I think those were like... $15 I think it just really looks really good instead of having to spend so much money on like an expensive vanity mirror I know they cost like 200 up to like $500 this is like a good just cheap alternative that you can be using for your vanity so moving on to the makeup collection so I bought this acrylic organization from TJ Maxx I believe it was like $15 and what I have on the top is basically just all my setting sprays or my liquid like primers. So I have the Wet n Wild um, Rose Prime Water. This is a 3-in-1 so you can prep, set, and refresh. And then I also have the Catrice Prime and Fine. So you can use this before or makeup or after as well to set it. 
So my favorite one is the LA Girl Setting Spray. This one keeps my makeup intact for hours. So I'll be using it from the morning and it, it'll still be intact by the end of the night. The NYX Bear With Me is also one of my favorites. Um, I usually put this on before putting any foundation or anything on my face. I just go ahead and prep my face with this one. And 100% it lasts up to 8 hours, even more I feel with my skin. So highly recommend this one. And then in the back, I just have some ColourPop lipsticks that I've gotten. So yeah, I basically just have four lipsticks in the back from them. And then in the front, I have all my Milani lipstick. So these are one of my favorite ones. I still want to build up my collection. So I now have the shade 42 Rose Femme. And then I also have the shade 29 and Teddy Bear. And then I have the shade 25. This one is Naturally Chick. And I have another 25 Naturally Chick. I actually purchased this on twice. This is why I have to like take a picture of what I have so I don't repurchase the same thing. And then I have the shade 85 and Natural Rose. So I really like the Milani lipsticks. I feel like they're so soft on the lips. And they honestly last a really long time. So now for the first drawer here, basically what I have here is all my eyelid primers and then any color correction that I might need. So I basically just have, let's go ahead and take this one out. So I have my favorite, all time favorite one. This is a NYX Professional Makeup Proof Fit Eyeshadow Primer. 100% recommend, it's actually waterproof. Um, so if you struggle with your eyeshadow, like kind of staying the whole entire day, highly recommend this one. Uh, I also have the Milani eyeshadow primer. This one's okay. I did notice that it didn't last as long as I wanted it to, but it still works. I also have the Morphe one. This one works pretty good. I don't really have complaints about this one. And then for the color correction, I have the LA Girl Pro Conceal. So I have that one, and then I have a Profusion eyeshadow primer that I got like in a holiday kit that I had. This is really good. So those are all the ones that I have at the moment. And then on this section, all I basically have is anything to do with eyelashes. So I have eyelash glue, my eyelash curler, um, some tweezers to set my eyelashes. And then my all-time favorite, you guys already know, is the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive. If you're looking for a good eyelash glue, this one's it. It stays on really good even if it's windy outside i never have to struggle with my eyelashes coming off and then i also sometimes will use this one it's the same one it's a kiss adhesive one but, but yeah that's basically what i have there on the bottom i have all of my mascaras so i haven't found a mascara that i absolutely love so if you do have one go ahead and comment them down below so i can go ahead and check them out but this one is a wet and wild max volume waterproof i just wanted to try this one out it was okay I'm not a huge fan of it. This one is right now my favorite one. Like, I feel like there can be another better one. But this is the Essence Lash in Princess. This one at Ulta. But this one's a really good one. I feel like out of all my mascaras, this one's probably one of my favorites. And then I have the L'Oreal Voluminous um, Mascara. This one's okay. Like, it works better, I guess, than this one over here. And then I also have... Um, the l'oreal lash paradise mascara as well let this focus um this one works good too but like i said out of all the other ones i highly recommend this one and on this side i basically just have all of my eyelid pencils um, my eye pencils i mean and my ultimate favorite one that literally lasts me for a good amount of hours essence extreme lasting 16 hour eye pencil it will last you the whole entire day i also have um this maybelline one this is in the shade brown um this is the eyeliner one as well shade espresso this one um, works really good too and then in the bottom i just have some ulta ones that i got also in like a christmas gift collection i have my morphe um setting spray here and then this one's just the translucent setting powder that i have this one works really good i like it um i also have the maybelline fit me um foundation stick i actually use this to contour like my nose or contouring my face this one's in the shade coconut and it works really really well so highly recommend this one if you're looking for like a contour like a cream contour one 
And then I also have my NYX Matte Bronzer. This one's in the shade Medium. I'll usually alternate this one and another one that I'm going to show you. But I really do like this one if you're looking for a matte finish. And then I have the Maybelline Fit Me that I've had for the longest time. This one's in the shade Rose. And then I have the Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder. And then this one's in the shade 004. And then lastly, I have my Milani Prep Set and Go Transparent Face Powder, which looks like this. And then this one's just in the shade 01. So now for the next drawer, I have some eyeshadow palettes that I'll bring down. So I have the ColourPop Whatever palette, and I'll go ahead and open it up for you guys. Obviously, I've used it um, a couple of times. And then I also have my Yes Please palette. And this one looks like this. So it has some pop of yellow, a lot of fall color. And then I also have my other color pop. So this one's more like nude color. Very like simple look that you can do with this one. And then I also have the lit palette, which looks like this. I use some of the colors, not all of them, but I already love them so much. So there's this one. And then I also have my Juvia palette here, which looks like this. This one's really good eyeshadow too. Then on the bottom here, I have my ultimate favorite setting powder, which is the Collab. And then this one is in the shade Ivory. This one's my ultimate favorite. If you're looking for a good setting powder, this one's a good one. I got that one from Sally's. And then I also have my Butter Bronzer, and then this one is in the shade Deep Bronzer. This one's really good. Um, it actually smells like summer, so I've been using this one lately, just because it smells really, really good. I also have my Milani Blush, and then this one is in the shade 05. I also have my Milani Highlighter, and then this one is in the shade 02. And then I have another Milani um, powder, and then this one's in the shade 01. And then I have my NYX, which broke, and I'm so sad, but this is a NYX um, finishing powder. And then this one's in the shade Banana. And then I have an Essence, I don't even think they sell this one anymore, but this is an Essence brow color. And it's just two different colors that it has for your eyebrows. It's like a deep brown and then like a lighter shade of brown. But I don't think they have this one anymore. It's like a really old. And then I have two ColourPop single eyeshadows. This gold color here from ColourPop. And then this one is in the shade Lightning Bug. And then I have another. So it looks like a pinkish rose color. And then this one is in the shade Bubbly. And then right on the bottom, I have my e.l.f. Lion Define Eye Tape. So I basically use this one when I want my eyeshadow to really be defined at the ends or if I'm using liquid eyeliner. I'll go ahead and put these in the corner of my eyes and it helps me so much try to get that nice line. Now on this side here, I have my Vanity Planet Era. So I usually use this twice a week. I'll go ahead and use it in the middle of the week. So like Wednesday and then I'll use it on Sundays. Um, this is basically just to open up my pores and it really does feel like I'm having a spa here at home. So highly recommend this. I know right now they're having a sale on their things. So they're pretty good pricing right now. So if you want to go check it out. Then right on the side from this one, I have my Jeffree Star Setting Mist. This one's really good. It smells absolutely amazing. But it also works really good with my makeup that I'm wearing. It makes it just last a little bit longer than usual. And then I also have my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I'm almost out of this one. I do want to try their new one, which is like the matte one. But I'm just waiting to finish this one so I can get another one. And then right on this side, I have basically some of my brushes. So I have some Real Technique brushes here. I have some Morphe brushes as well. Um, I really have like a combination of different ones between like Real Technique, Morphe, Essence. I know I have like an Essence one here. This one right here. I do need to clean them which I'm actually going to be doing today. So this is like an Essence like bronzer brush. If you guys want a video on like my brushes, go ahead and comment down below so I can, I can go ahead and do like a brush collection.
have that there and then right in the middle I have basically just the lipsticks that I um, have at the moment I do want to build my lips lipstick collection a lot more but for now it's just these ones and the Milani ones so this one's a Maybelline one and then this one this one's in the shade 660 touch of spice and then I also have this one which is the 565 um, almond rose and then I have other ones here from DC color and then this one is in the shade 01 it's like a pretty pink color and then I have a couple of like elf ones as well some more elf ones as well here I have two of the morphe ones and then this one's in the shade the talk which really pretty brown I really like the Morphe lipsticks. They're really soft and really creamy. So moving on to this side, I have some more face brushes. So like I said, I have some Morphe collection ones. I have Real Technique. It's a bronzer brush um, and it works really, really good. I have another Morphe brush there. And then I have all of my eye brushes in this one so i have a mixture of morphe ones and then i have some that i got from amazon as well that work really good um there's another morphe i have a real technique one as well i'm like in love with the ones that are real technique because they work so good and they blend out really nicely i have another morphe one these are like from a collection that i bought a while back but like i said if you guys want a video on like my brush collections go ahead and comment them down below and i'll go ahead and do a separate video for that one right next to it i have another ac like acrylic organizer so on the top i have my concealers here so i'm currently using the maybelline instant age we Rhine, and then this one's in the color light pale L'Oreal Paris Infallible Concealer and um, this one's really good if you want some full coverage highly recommend it and then I am in the shade 360 it's the elf hydrating camel concealer and this one is in the shade light peach this one literally lasts a really long time and it doesn't dry out like your under eyes at all this one's another one of my favorite this is revolution concealer and define and then this one's in the shade C7. And then in the back, I have my Wet n Wild Dewy Foundation. Highly, highly recommend this one if you're looking for a new foundation. I am in the shade Golden Beige. It works so good and it lasts a really long time. I also have their old one, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Golden Beige. This one's really good as well. And then in the back, I have my ColourPop Pretty Fresh in the shade Medium and W. This one's really good if you're trying to have just not like a full coverage foundation. I also have my Becca Skin Love Weightless Blur Foundation. And then I am in the shade Buttercup. Um, this one works really well. I know I've seen this one at TJ Maxx if you're looking for like a cheaper one. And then my one of my ultimate favorite foundations as well is the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage. I am in the shade 220. This one works really, really good. If you want that full coverage foundation, highly recommend this one. The full coverage foundation that I would recommend, which is the one that I'm actually wearing today, is the L'Oreal Infallible 24-Hour Wear. I am in the shade 460. This one works really, really good. I usually wear this when I really want that full coverage, if I'm breaking out or anything. I also have the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Glow in the shade 204. And then I have a BB cream from Maybelline. This one's in the shade 120. And then I also have my Catrice HD liquid coverage, which lasts up to 24 hours. And then I am in the shade Warm Beige. I also have my Wet n Wild Primer Serum. Um, this one's just basically hydrating your skin. It doesn't do anything else, but just hydrate it. It's really good if you are using like a matte foundation. I also have the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer as well. And then if I'm looking for more like a matte primer, I'll use the Rimmel Stay Matte Mattifying. It's also shine controlling, pore minimizing, hydrating feel, smooths your skin as well. And then if I want to kind of blur out my pores from like my nose area, I'll go ahead and use the Makeup Revolution. This is a blur and prime, blur and prime primer, which looks like this. 
In this area, I just have a bunch of my Ulta lipsticks as well. Then I have my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer Matte. This one, if you're really looking for a matte primer, I highly recommend this one. And then I also have another primer for like the pores. This is the Goodbye Pores from Catrice. This looks really, really good. It's long lasting and it does give you that soft focus effect. I will have the Too Faced Do You Fresh Glow Luminous Face Primer as well. And then moving down to the drawers. And this one I have everything that has to do with eyebrows. So I have my Anastasia Dip Brow here. And then this one's in the shade Medium Brown. And then I also have my e.l.f. Um, pomade as well. And then I have my NYX concealer. This one's in the shade beige. I typically use the NYX ones to clean up my eyebrows. I also have this Contrise Minute Face Perfector. In case I have any pimples or any redness, I'll go ahead and use that. And then I have my NYX eyebrow pencil. This one's in the shade brunette. And I have the ColourPop Clear Gel. And then another of the e.l.f. one. And the first drawer, I basically have some of my eyelashes there. So I have some of my Dodo lashes. I do have a discount code that you guys can get some money off. They're really good. They last you a really long time. Go ahead and put it down in the description box. And in this drawer, I have basically all of my um, lip liners, uh, my lip glosses as well. What I'm currently using at the moment is the NYX Professional Makeup Lip Pencil. This one's in the shade Natural. And then I paired it with the ColourPop Lippy Stick in the shade Cookie. And then I just put a lip gloss. This is the Essence Lip Shine. And then down at the bottom, I have some setting powder. So I have the Revolution setting powder here. I also have another collab one as well. And then just an airspun in the back. This one, I have some more eyelashes. So I have my Kiss eyelashes here. This one's in the shade Pomodoro. Um, this is the ones that I'm currently wearing today. I have an eyelash video that you can go ahead and look. And then I go more in detail and how, basically show you how it looks on my eyes. So if you want to go ahead and check that out, I'll go ahead and link this video down below as well. Then right on top, I have my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer here. And then I also have my Matte Putty Primer as well from e.l.f. Then I have my highlighter here that i got from like a store in la I'm not really sure what it's called but this one's the pink goddess and then i have my makeup revolution this is four different shades of highlighters this is my color cheek kit and then this one's just a max studio bronzer highlighter and brush so that basically completes my vanity tour and my makeup collection i hope you guys really enjoyed this video don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up go ahead and comment down below to let me know any future videos you guys want me to do don't forget to hit that post notification button to be notified every time i post a new video and i'll go ahead and see you in the next one bye guys